Today I am announcing that I will not be standing at the next election. I have had an incredible time in politics for the past 15 years and now I am looking forward to my next career. In 2005 I entered politics on the National Party list. I was absolutely thrilled in 2008 when the people of the then seat of Waitakere chose me to be their electorate MP. I served them for six years until that seat no longer existed. I then went on to win the seat of Upper Harbour, where I have served for the past six years. Being an electorate MP and working on behalf of constituents has been a privilege and work that I have really enjoyed. I believe Jake Bazant, the current candidate for Upper Harbour, will do an outstanding job and wish him all the best in the upcoming election. After just three years as an MP, I became a Cabinet Minister in 2008. I have held 14 different portfolios, each bringing their own challenges and achievements. I have many people to thank, too many people to rattle off here, but I believe that much of my success has been due to the incredible people who I have worked with and for me. I am particularly proud of my work as Minister for Social Development and Child, Youth and Family for more than six years. I became the Minister as we were feeling the brunt of the global financial crisis. Vulnerable families and communities needed our immediate help and I ensured they had it. But they also needed hope of a better future for them and their families. I set about reforming the welfare system with more emphasis on what people could do, increasing their expectation, our expectation on people to get work ready and look for a job, and changing the system so that more help was available to, for them. The number of sole parents on benefit dropped by more than 30,000, and the number of teen parents effectively halved. This means tens of thousands of people no longer dependent on the state and living independent lives. Many think being a minister is a hands-off role. I loved being hands-on. I implemented those reforms, drove the change and the daily execution, and most importantly, saw people's lives and livelihoods improve. I then served as a senior minister from 2014 in the John Key and Bill English Kitchen Cabinet and held portfolios ranging from state services, associate finance, climate change uh, and police. And I was Deputy Prime Minister when John left and Bill took over. Since the last election until recently I have been the Deputy Leader of the National Party and Campaign Chair. Interestingly, it has been in the last two and a half years that I have probably learnt the most. The whole thing though has been a hell of a ride and I have loved it. But now is time for the next chapter. I am excited to take the skills I have out of Parliament and into the business world. I have always wanted another career after politics and now is the right time for me to go and pursue that. You know, I'd like to stay married, so I'm not going to spend more time with my family. <laughs> um, lockdown was fantastic, you know. Uh, there's one thing that my husband knows, it's that I need to be busy and challenged, and uh, I know that I'm really well and truly up for that. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking forward to more fishing, I've got to say. That's, that's definitely something that I would like to do more of and get in there. I, uh, John Key keeps telling me that I've just got to get that golf swing um, sorted and, uh, and get onto the golf course and I enjoy that. And of course I love spending time with my children and grandchildren and things. But as I say, I think what I'm most excited about is the kind of business opportunities that might be out there and, uh, and that I'll now have an opportunity to sort of step into.